Hey. Good news. Looks like we're getting fake married after all. Really? Yeah. Mike agreed to keep paying me alimony. He just sent me a text. Oh, man. That's a relief. And unbelievably generous. I'm going to send him a thank you right now. You're welcome. You know, I really can't tell you how much I appreciate you doing this for me, Susan. And I promise, as long as I'm here, I'll pitch in around the house, run errands, you know, just like a real husband. And clearly, you've never been married before. Well, you know, just because this is um, fake marriage doesn't mean it can't be wonderful. Well, I've been in some real marriages that weren't, so maybe you're right. Oh, look! Cans! You can't have a wedding without cans and signage! Sweet! <laughs> Let's get to the car wash on our way to the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Jackson Braddock? Yes? We're with immigration. You're in the country on an expired visa. You're gonna have to come with us. Oh, oh no, no, no. You, you can't take him now. Susan, there's a business card on the dresser with an attorney's number. Would you call him for me, please? Please, can't this wait? We're about to get married. Not today or not. What's going on? Who are these guys? I uh, immigration agents, and I think they're sending Jackson back to Canada. Hello? May I speak with uh, Bree Vandekamp? Oh, she's not in at the moment. Can I take a message? Uh, yeah, this is Sheila with Weston Brothers Storage. It's about the storage unit she just rented. Storage unit? Uh, yeah, we overcharged her on the deposit. Tell her not to worry. We're going to deduct it from her next bill. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Everyone wears some kind of mask. So you must look closely to find the truth that lies beneath. Hi, come on. Some conceal anxiety about growing older. Some hide fears of financial ruin. Others cover up a love that continues to linger. And then there are those who let their mask slip. If you look into their eyes, you'll see who they really are. And exactly what they're capable of. <laughs>